what's up you guys my name is Amber welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing everything that I read for the pop sugar reading challenge in 2019. For anybody who is unfamiliar, Pop Sugar is kind of just like a media company and every year they put out a reading challenge of 40 different kind of standard prompts and then there's an additional 10 advanced prompts of things for you to read. 2019 is my second year of doing the challenge. You can check out my 2018 wrap up on my channel if you would like. Spoiler alert, I did not get all 50 books of the challenge. For the challenge, I personally only read 22 out of the 50 total prompts. 18 of those were in the standard section and four of those were in the advanced section. I am not one of those people who like waits to do all of the standard ones first and then hits the advanced. I just go for like whatever matches books that I already have that I want to read and then sometimes I will like branch out to match a specific criteria. That was a real weird match uh, to match a specific prompt criteria. <laughs> so first off we are going to be going over everything I read in the standard section. For a book becoming a movie in 2019 I read Let It Snow by Maureen Johnson, John Green, and Lauren Miracle. If you haven't already seen it the movie is out on Netflix. It is a new Netflix original that came out for the 2019 holiday season. I thought that the movie was pretty cute. Um, It is definitely uh, spoiler alert, significantly better than the book. Like just saying. Um, I do have a review out for the book that uh, will probably be on my channel sometime after this video so keep an eye out for that if you are interested. I did a review for Let It Snow in the Snow and froze my ass off. For a book that makes you nostalgic, I read The Umbrella Academy Hotel Oblivion Number no. 4 by Gerard Way. Makes me nostalgic because I have been reading The Umbrella Academy since I was in middle school. And for a book written by a musician, I read The Umbrella Academy Hotel Oblivion Number no. 7, again by Gerard Way. Um, for anybody who is unaware, Gerard Way is the lead singer of My Chemical Romance, which is why I got into the comic series in the first place. So there you go. For a book you think should be made into a movie, I read Life, Love, and the List by Casey West. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually remember too terribly much about the book. For a reread of a favorite book, I read The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton, which is just, you know, one of the OGs. For a book set in space, I read Tank Girl Gold by Alan C. Martin. The whole thing doesn't take place in space, but there is a scene in it that takes place in space, so we're using it. For a book that takes place in a single day, I read The Decay of Lying by Oscar Wilde. Apparently it took place in a single day. I'm not gonna lie, I remember none of it. <laughs> For a debut novel, I read For the Record by Charlotte Huang, and uh, that one, I do remember that one. I actually quite liked it. There is a review for it out on my channel if you would like to check it out. For a book that's published in 2019, I read the re-release of Control Freaks by Michael Evans. I also have a review for that out on my channel as well if you would like to check it out. The author was very young when he initially wrote it, so he went through and like re-edited the book a little bit and re-released it this year and actually sent me a copy of it to review for you guys. So that is out as well as well as the rest of the Control Freak series will be on my channel eventually. For a book featuring an extinct or imaginary creature, I read Dragon's Oath by PC and Kristen Cast. It is a, it's like a prequel to the House of Night series, which is a whole book series written by like a mother and a daughter, which like I cannot imagine having to write an entire book series with my mother. <laughs> um, not to mention it's one, it's like very teenagery based like there's a lot just it would be a very awkward book to write with your mother so I'm very impressed that it was done. For a book you meant to read in 2018 I read Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez and again that is another one that I have a review for out on my channel. Let's just say uh not the best feelings towards that book. We'll leave it at that. Go ahead and watch the review if you want to know why. For a book about somebody with a superpower, I read Secret Vampire by L.J. Smith, which is part of the Night World series, which I read 
all of, or at least all of the ones that are like out so far. For a book told from multiple character point of views, I read World War Tank Girl by Alan C. Martin. For a book about a family, I read The Earth My Butt and Other Big Round Things by Carolyn Mackler, which I do partially remember. I remember some of it. It is not solely based around a family, but there are a lot of family elements in it, so that's why I used it for that prompt. I think I actually have a review for that on my channel as well. Wow, I did a lot more book reviews than I realized I did this year. Go me. For a book written by an author from Asia, Africa, or South America, I read Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. For a book that includes a wedding, I read When Dimple Met Rishi by Sinhaya Menon. I have another review for that one on my channel as well, as well as I think I also reviewed Emergency Contact, so uh... There's that. For a book with a two-word title, I read Black Dawn by L.J. Smith, which is another one of the Night World series that I am currently reviewing all of the volumes for on my channel as well. This video just turned into, like, shameless self-promotion, and I don't know when that happened. So my apologies, but anyways, I do a lot of book reviews on my channel. And for a novel based on a true story, I read Pencil, Pen, and Poison by Oscar Wilde. Again, another one that I literally don't remember anything about, but in the book I do think it has something like based on a true story or inspired by a true or like something like that, so it works. Now we are on to the advanced prompts, which I only read four, so bear with me, we're almost done. They instruct you to read a book during the season it is set in. I read Moxie by Jennifer Matthew. Again, there's a review on my channel. I do remember this book because I really, really liked this book. It is definitely geared to be a very specific young adult book, but I thought it was a very, very powerful read. It definitely inspired me to want to create my own like punk inspired zines. For a book with no chapters or unusual chapter headings or unconventionally numbered chapters, I read 10 Things I Can See From Here by... oh wait by Carrie Mack. For a book that has inspired a common phrase or idiom, I read Pay It Forward by Katherine Ryan Hyde, which is a great book. It is very, very close in adaptation to the film counterpart. It is a great book. If you've seen the movie, you will know it has a very, very, very tragic ending. And uh, fair warning, I think that the book's ending is arguably equally if not even sadder so be prepared for that. It is definitely one that you might cry at towards the end but a great book nonetheless. And last but not least for a book set in an abbey, cloister, monastery, vicarage, or convent, I apologize if I butchered any of those pronunciations, I read Lenobia's Vow also by PC and Kristen Cast. This is another one similar to Dragon's Oath that I mentioned earlier that is like one of the prequels to the House of Night series. With all of those that completes uh, what I read for the 2019 Pop Sugar Reading Challenge. As much as I like say I don't remember a lot of them, I do think I had fun uh, trying to match some of the books I had to some of the prompts. I will have to say, same as the 2018 challenge, some of those prompts are definitely a little bit of a stretch, but uh, the whole point of the challenge is to just read more and to expand your reading horizons. So as long as you're doing that, like, who cares if you're doing it on the T? If you have any interest in any of the book reviews that I mentioned, editing me is going to hate filming me for saying this, but I will go ahead and link those down below if you are interested in watching any of them. If you would like to see a full comprehensive list of everything that I read in 2019 as part of the challenge or not, I will also be posting a 2019 reading wrap up in general on my channel, probably in a week or two from when I post this if you are interested in checking that out. And go ahead and give a subscribe to my channel as I will be doing a giveaway once we hit 100 subscribers. and I. I am trying to do that as soon as possible so I can continue producing a lot more content for you guys. Thank you guys so so much for watching. I had a blast hanging out with y'all. Peace.